Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, this is the first and maybe only semi-annual sale haul review time, review time. We're going to talk about the new and the repackage and see if I'm going to get more from the semi-annual sale, the semi-annual sale, the, 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 the semi-annual sale. All right, y'all. So, if you haven't seen my haul video from day one of Sass, I will link that above. Check it out. So, today we're going to talk about the collections that they brought out for semi-annual sale. I have three here from the 90s throwback collection that they brought back. I have the Groovy collection and I have the Salt Shack collection. So I think I'm going to start. I haven't smelled these y'all. Oh, let me tell you, I, have, I didn't smell these in the store. Number one, I have learned through shopping sass and in general, sometimes at uh, perfume counters and, and Sephora and uh bath and body works victoria's secret you can spray so much you don't get the true essence of the fragrance so during sass usually usually i'm just grabbing because i can always take it back but this time i wanted to do uh first impressions with you because i don't do first impressions as often as i used to at the beginning of my channel so that's what we're going to do today and i'm trying to, to decide which ones i want to make myself wait the longest to smell so i think i'm going to start with the groovy collection because three of those are repackaged fragrances anyway so if you didn't know now you know <laughs> which i'm sure you do they brought back rainbow waves and it is in the groovy collection i don't have that one but i do have the first version they brought out and this is sunny sangria bright melon and misty waters i recently just finished up a pocket back in this scent and i love it it's very sparkly fun fruity aquatic and it's got, to me, I feel like I get a musk note in this. It's just an easy to wear, unisex, fruity, musky, aquatic scent that I really like. Now, do I plan to get a backup of this? At this time, no. Now, I did see the shower gel in this, uh, the new Groovy collection. I was like, ooh. Cause the only thing I have in this is the mist. That's all I have left. So when it drops down to 75% or $3.95, whatever they decide to do, I may, this is a big may, I may get the shower gel. I don't want the lotion or anything. I may get the shower gel after I smell it to see is it worth it getting the shower gel. But it looks so pretty and I was just like, ooh, because all I have is the mist. So this is a good one. It's just not backup worthy for me um, because one reason, because I have so much stuff and I feel like they'll, it'll come around again. I feel once Bath and Body Works brings out, uh, brings back a fragrance, you know, once or twice, usually that means you're going to see it at least a third time. So maybe on that time, if they choose to, I'll be finished with this one. But it is a good one. I do like it, and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. To me, it's very good for summer, really good summer scent. And again, that is Rainbow Waves. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about that they brought back is Golden Sunflower. This has notes of sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. This is a pretty perfumey um, floral vanilla scent. I don't even understand myself why I don't wear this more often because it's beautiful. That's when you know you got too much because 
fragrances that smell just wonderful this is my type of scent it's perfumey it's soft it's feminine it's floral it's vanilla it's a little it's a floral sweet vanilla fragrance very beautiful the only reason i'm not going to get another one of golden sunflower is because i've had this you know it's hard for me to remember how to tell the date on the fragrance mist but i think this is uh 2020 so i've had this going on three years and i think i'm just down to here on it so i'm not gonna get a backup i was uh, it's beautiful and if i was in my oh you better what if they never bring it back mode that i kind of got into when i was watching all the videos this is before i started my channel and i was watching all the fragrance videos i had discovered fragrance videos because i was more into the makeup and uh, hair when i was going through my natural hair journey and then i came across the fragrance videos and the hygiene and i you know that's my first love so i just went crazy getting stuff so i'm trying to i'm i'm curtailing that impulse but this is beautiful it is beautiful i love this fragrance and again that is golden sunflower y'all if my voice is sounding a little off because i feel like i am i am just I, I don't know if my body's trying to fight off something i have just not been feeling well i have not been feeling good and it, it is showing in my voice i don't know what's going on i can hear it so that makes me think maybe you can hear it so yeah but we're pushing through and we're gonna because i'm ready to smell these new fragrances honey i honestly did not smell them you all i'm not the one who's gonna be like oh yeah and get up here and fake a first impression i haven't smelled these and i was like you got to film this because i want to smell them i want to know am i gonna get any additional um products to go with the mist do i am i gonna fall in love with any of the new new so i had to get this video up today okay the last one that was repackaged that we're going to talk about is pink watermelon blast and this has notes of juicy pink watermelon sugar strawberry blossoms and lime zest and y'all i should have brought the names out they didn't call i think they kept rainbow waves and golden sunflower the same name now pink watermelon blast is renamed and repackaged groovy watermelon and this is the one it was so funny in the story all story time i was in bath and body works all the stores it felt like shopping for the first day of sass and the lady was they were pushing cucumber melon and i was like no even she gave me the strip and cucumber melon doesn't stink it doesn't it is just not something i have ever gravitated towards ever i've never owned it maybe i should get one mist and try it because i've never purchased cucumber melon and this would be the year to do it in a 25 year packaging so you know what it would win because i know cucumber melon is going i can find some cucumber melon when it drops oh it is 3.95 now oh. <laughs> So, y'all, I might pick up one. I just thought about that. I've never, ever, ever had cucumber melon in my collection. Ever. So, when I go back and, and attempt to do a price adjustment, if prices have lowered on some of the items um, that were purchased, I might get it. I am shocked at myself. Because when she gave it to me, I was like, oh, it smells good. But it, it, I don't know. It just never grabbed me. So, this might be the year, y'all. That I get some doggone cucumber melon to to you know how can you be a true Bath and Body Works reviewer if you've never had the scent that everybody knows? I don't know anybody who doesn't know about some cucumber melon. So, <laughs> I might get that one. I don't even know what I was talking about before I got sidetracked with cucumber melon. Um, this is groovy watermelon. Oh, and so they were pushing that one, and then she sprayed down groovy watermelon which is pink watermelon blast and she was like smell this this is the best and i said I, yeah it's good i have this in my collection and she was looking like she was giving me a couple of things i was like yeah i have that i have that she was probably she looked at me like dang what you in here for if you got everything <laughs> but yeah that was funny to me so did i read the notes y'all i can't remember so let's read them again i think i read them oh okay 
Pink Watermelon Blast has notes of juicy pink watermelon, sugar, strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. So, this is a pretty sweet, sugary, candy watermelon scent. And it reminds me of a better version of, it was some Victoria's Secret watermelon fragrance that I used up a couple years ago and it had strawberry in there and it gives it a twist. And I love the twist it gives. It's not just straight watermelon. I can pick up the strawberry. I can pick up the zestiness of the lime, but it comes together to make a pretty, fun, juicy, candy-like watermelon fragrance. And it's so fun. And again, I was looking at the Groovy Collection shower gel, and I was like, that's pretty. These shower gels are looking really pretty in these new collections. And I was like, whoa, I may want a shower gel when it gets to 75% off. Because I have two of these, and I, I, I think I have one shower gel. So I may, but it's all depending on if, when it gets to $3.95 or 75% off, whichever way they want to do it. Because I'm not paying, for, I'm not doing it for 50% off. But this is a good one. If you love watermelon fragrances in general, if you missed out on Pink Watermelon Blast, Groovy Watermelon, it is highly recommended. And I believe that would be the one out of the, the collection that might sell out before they drop the prices. That one might. I don't know, cause people were out when I was in there shopping, people were swarming around, predominantly the little 75% off tables and 395 items. So you might have a chance to wait them out. You might, but if you missed out on Pink Watermelon Blast and you really wanted it, I would say go get it and then go get a price adjustment or even return it when they drop the prices and then repurchase it for the, the new price. So the last one in the Groovy Collection that I have not smelled, I cannot wait. I love the packaging, I love the color because purple is, is well, pink and purple are my colors. This is Disco Daydream. And this has notes of Cali Days, whatever that is, um, Wild Vanilla and Radiant Coconut. So y'all. Let's smell this together. I'm excited to smell this. I'm excited to see, is this actually a new fragrance or is it also repackaged? Let's see. What are these notes? Vanilla, I'm not getting. It's some fruit fruitiness I'm getting in here, like a fruity floral, but I don't see any of that listed unless that falls under Cali Days. It is reminding me of something. Okay, right now I'm getting like a floral, fruity, tart fragrance mist. Where's the vanilla? Where's the coconut? Um, let's spray this on a strip and see, because I'm very confused, honey. And it's kind of reminding me from the top of like Coco Cabana, the new green one they came out with for the summer collection with the straw but tart, um, fruitier than that one. Yeah, this is reminding me of something. <sighs> yeah, it's giving me on the, sh on the tester strip, it's giving me soft, floral, fruity, And I'm getting a soft coconutty vanilla scent. It's pleasant. It smells purple. I don't know if I'm getting like plum or something like that. It is a fruity note that I, that's coming out. So I'm gonna say 
floral fruity plum with hints of vanilla and coconut. And it's very soft. Let me spray some of my skin. This one is confusing me, y'all. This is why sometimes I don't like doing first impressions because I can't just give a, a true in-depth review. Okay, on oh, my skin is smelling, again, it's smelling purple. It's smelling fruity. It's smelling like a warm, floral, fruity, coconut, vanilla, still very soft. I like it best on my skin, but then on my skin, you know, I have on um, lotion and, and oil from when I was getting ready. So it could be mixing in with that smelling better to me. But it does smell familiar. And that's what I'm gonna say. This is nothing, you know what? It's kind of giving me amethyst waves, a, 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 a hint of it. Yeah. So this smells familiar. So I'm not gonna say it's a repackage because I can't say this is uh, this fragrance mist and that's what it is. But it does remind me of fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. So, I think I'm good on getting anything else from Disco Daydream. I don't dislike it, I don't hate it. It's kind of in that meh. Like, I like it on my skin and it feels like it's already gone. Oh, there it is, a hint. So yeah, it's soft, it's pretty. It's got that fruity sweet. It's pretty, um, but I'm not in love. I'm not in love with it. And so I will not be getting anything else from, I feel like I wanna spray my hand again. Cause I only did one spray. Let me, let's do two. Because I'm really liking the way it smells on my skin, but still not enough for me to be like, I gotta go. And when it drops, I gotta get another mist. I gotta get the this or the that. I don't feel that way, but I do feel like I would enjoy it while wearing it. Okay, let's look at the alcohol. Yeah, it's very soft, very pretty. I think plummy, coconutty vanilla. And it's working. But it doesn't smell like something I've never smelled before. It, it smells, I get hints of different things. But I can't think of anything that smells exactly like this. Yeah, it has that purple fragrance quality. Sweet, softly sweet, fruity, floral. More, mm, I'm gonna, say, yeah, I was gonna say more this than that, but it just depends on, I don't know what, I'm picking up different things, but I'm gonna say softly sweet, fruity, floral, um, nice, not groundbreaking, not earth shattering, but a nice one. I would hunt for me, but keep in mind, I have a larger collection. And I've smelled, I don't know how many fragrance mists throughout the years from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret, and now I'm smelling them all because I review them. I wouldn't pay 50% off for this, for me. But I would suggest you go smell it and you, you have to decide, would you want to take a chance? For me, it's, it's way to 75%, way to 395%, way till they drop the prices for this one. Because while it's pretty, it, I don't feel like it's not anything that we haven't smelled before. 
So those are my thoughts on Disco Daydream. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the Salt Shack collection. And we're gonna start with the repackaged one. This is Cotton Candy Clouds. This has notes of sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. I did not pick up the packaging of Cotton Candy Clouds for this year in this packaging because number one, this packaging for this collection does not blow me away. Number two, I have plenty of Cotton Candy Clouds and I have Boardwalk Taffy, and I have Whipped Berry Meringue, so I'm good for now um, on this fragrance. This is Cotton Candy Soft Sugary Sweet Perfection, easy to wear any time of the year. It's just good. It is so good. I am so sad I'm on my last set of Boardwalk Taffy and I'm using it because cream is going bad. Cause I like this packaging cotton candy clouds and they smell the same, but it's something about that boardwalk taffy packaging, probably because it was the one I fell in love with that it's just my first love. And I don't know why they won't bring back boardwalk taffy, which was the OG, but they keep bringing back cotton candy clouds, which is a repackaged renamed version of the original boardwalk taffy. But yeah, I highly recommend um, cotton candy clouds for this sale. Again, I feel like you can wait them out for the price to drop on this one because they have brought back Cotton Candy Clouds, I think every year for the past three years. So I feel like people know about this one. It's not new to a, it's not, it's not gonna be new to the people who keep up with Bath and Body Works. So I feel like you can wait them out and get this at a, at a, a better price than 50% off. Okay, which one do I want to try from the new, new, new? You know what? I'm going to start with Whipped Coconut Milkshake. This has notes of vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugar amber. Because is it coconut cream pie? I don't know. Is it... Uh, is something that... Some package that came out with a squirrel. White coconut... Caramel, I think was the name of that mist. I don't have it anymore. I've heard people say it's similar to that. So let's see. Okay, it's not coconut cream pie. To me, it's the lighter version of coconut cream pie. It's caramel in here? I think, okay, I think I'm getting that sugared amber that made, made me think of caramel. To me, this smells like a super smooth coconut, warm coconut fragrance. Not beachy. Not even, because it says vanilla ice cream, but... I get just a super smooth coconut warm set that doesn't make me think pie because in coconut cream pie you do get that that pie crust note that white coconut and caramel it had or was it white chocolate it was something <laughs> That one was more white chocolate coconut caramel candy. So even though this um, whipped coconut milkshake makes me think more of the that mist with the, with the squirrel on it more so than the coconut cream pie, but it's still to me not a dupe. But it's very warm. Um, for some reason, it's giving me like, if there's anything, you know those creamers and coffee additives you can have. If you got a fancy one that was like coconut syrup, that's what this is giving me. It doesn't give me milkshake because I would think it would be more lactonic. Even with the vanilla ice cream, I would think more lactonic. This is just giving me smooth, dense, Somewhat creamy, but not enough for me to go milkshake, ice cream, but smooth, dense, creamy like a syrup. 
like even if you wanted to like have an ice cream sundae think of a coconut ice cream sundae heavy 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 with whatever syrup that was a coconut syrup you could put on top of it that's what this is giving me okay i like it i don't love it but see i don't i i enjoyed that white coconut white what i want to remember the name of that mist i'm gonna start calling it the, the mist with the with the squirrel that came out last holiday season i like that one but the more i wore it i used it up i was tired of it by then coconut cream pie i still haven't i have two and i still haven't used up one it's it's a like for me i don't love this smelling it but if you love coconut i think you would really enjoy it if you love coconut cream pie if you love the squirrel mist that i'm talking about you will love this i like it and i enjoy it i don't feel like i need anything else though again the shower gel was looking good, y'all. I don't know what it is with this shower gel packaging for these collections. It's got me wanting to get some shower gels when I don't need any, okay? None, nada, zilch. I don't need any. But I don't feel like I'm gonna get it because I have warm, coconutty body washes that I know will work with this. So I think I'm good on uh, whipped coconut milkshake. I like it. I don't love it. I feel like it's new in the sense that it doesn't smell exactly like the two coconut fragrances I mentioned, but it is within the family. So you do you need this if you have coconut cream pie? No. Do you need this if you have the squirrel mist I'm talking about that I can't remember the exact name of? No. Is it, is it an exact dupe for those? No. But if you love coconut and just want it a little, you know, keep it in the family when you get tired of coconut cream pie, the other one you want to use, this one, it's nice for that. So I am going to keep it because I do like it. But again, it's nothing I feel like that is super new or unique because it just fits right into that family. And again, that is whipped coconut milkshake. Okay, the last one we're gonna smell from the Salt Shack collection is Fruity Sherbet, no, Sherbet Scoop. And this has notes of rainbow, Sherbet, zesty orange, and sun-kissed strawberry. Okay, y'all, I'm excited to smell this. Let's see. Is it gonna smell like strawberry? I, I don't know, is it Sherbet? It couldn't be burnt because it's not an R after the E. I, oh my goodness, get it together, Charlotte. Okay, when I immediately smell this, I thought it smells like something that I have in my collection from Bath and Body Works. What? I don't know. It's giving me... What's that? Happy Easter, Tootie Dolce, candy vibes, enchanted candy vibes. Um, the candy type of fragrance mist. So yeah, easy to wear, fun. I don't I, even, uh, does it give me rain, raspberry, sunshine? What's that thing? Sun wash, citrus, any candy like fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works. That's what this is giving me. I don't get, if, okay. Sherbet, Sherbert, Sherbet. I'm not getting ready to check right now, but I believe, isn't that some type of creamy, light creamy ice cream or something like that? Uh, a lighter version of ice cream. I'm not getting any creaminess. I'm getting zesty, fruity, candy. That's what I'm getting. So again, I like the candy fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works, but this, if you're thinking you're getting um, strawberry milkshake vibes or strawberry ice cream vibes, or that, it's not that. It's I don't get creaminess. I get fun candy, 
vibes. If, if you have smelled the fragrance mist I mentioned um, when I was, what this made me think of when I smelled it, you'll like this. Again, is it something new as in, oh my goodness, I've never smelled anything like this from Bath & Body Works? No. Is it a repackage? I'm not going to say it's a repackage because to me it doesn't smell exactly like any of the fragrance mists I mentioned, but it smells, it's in that family. Just like with the um, whipped coconut milkshake, it's in the same family. So do you need this one if you have all of those? That's up to you, but in my opinion, no. Am I going to wear it and enjoy it? Yes. But do I feel like I need, oh, to the, get a couple backups of this? No. Does it smell good? Yes. It smells like a strawberry, citrus, candy fragrance mist. Very fun and girly. Yeah, that's what it smells like. But super unique? No. Um, but is it a nice fragrance mist? Yes. So those are my thoughts on Fruity Sherbet Scoop. Again, the shower gel was calling my name in this. I have one Enchanted Candy Potion shower gel that, that could work with this. I have the Sun Wash Citrus shower gel could work with this. I have, I have shower gels that could work with this. So with me and the shower gels, I'm just going to wait and see if when I go back to do my price adjustment, Hopefully, it'll be something to adjust. Um, I'll see. I'll smell them. If And if they're a good price, I'll see if I'll get them. But do I need them? No. Do I want anything else from this line? No. I'm good. Am I disappointed I purchased these? No. Because I'd rather know than be wondering and guessing. Um, I want to know. And they're nice. So, I like them. The three... I almost did new, but they are new because I can't think of anything that smells exactly like them that I hadn't smelled before, which is the Disco Daydream from the Groovy, the Fruity Sherbet Scoop, and the Whipped Coconut and Milkshake from Salt Shack. I'm not disappointed I have them, but did I fall in love and become obsessed with any of them to where I... Let, let's smell Disco Daydream again. Yeah, this smells familiar too. Did I just, I, I'm not, I didn't fall in love with any of them and become obsessed to where I just want to go get the cream, which you know me and creams are like this right now. It did make me want to go get the creams. It did, now the, the shower gel is just calling my name because of the packaging, they look so pretty. But it didn't make me want to be like, oh, let me go get the rest of the line. Let me just, just bathe and shower myself in these fragrances no it didn't, it didn't give me that but i'm glad i have them and they smell good and i'm gonna use them now to the 90s collection y'all i feel like <sighs> i feel like i've smelled all of these but i couldn't tell you how any of them smell so i just don't even know how i want to start so we just gonna go in alphabetical order so I'm gonna start with juniper breeze this has notes of juniper leaves green apple blue jasmine fresh woods and dewy musk now I heard from people that they thought this smelled masculine <sighs> so I'm, I'm nervous I'm a little nervous about Miss juniper let's see I've heard people say they love it I've heard people say it's masculine so I don't know I, I'm hoping if when I smell it, I may remember it. Okay, I I, mm, I have a memory of smelling this maybe in a shower gel or something. This is interesting. Like, it made me think of outdoors, musky fruitiness. Hold on, y'all. It's unique. Hold on, let me spray this. Hold on. Okay, on the test trip, 
it's not as outside smelling it's kind of blue smelling musky a little woody and it's a tartness that's coming through is that the juniper okay let's spray this on my hand and let's see this is one it's one of those it's unique you don't you won't smell this you can tell this came from from the 90s because i can't think of anything that bath and body works has come out with let's just say in the past five years it smells like this nor vicky nor any of the other fragrance mists i've smelled from different brands so this one is kind of throwing me for a, a curb a little bit because i i don't dislike it but i can't say i like it um it doesn't stink but i can't say it smells good i i don't understand it so let me put it on the skin Okay, it's outdoorsy, tart, woody musk. And again, but it has like, you know that seashore cotton? It has that clean vibe too. You know, this may be like some soap. Think of like, what are those strong soaps? Like zest, you know, or something like that. That That's kind of what it's giving me. Yes, but it's some undertone that I'm not sure how I feel. I, I'm i going to keep it because it's intriguing to me. It's To me, it's it's got a tartness, like a tart fruitiness, woodiness, outdoorsiness, meets musk, meets a zest, like strong, clean bar soap that is kind of working yeah i don't dislike it but i'm intrigued enough to play with it now am i intrigued enough to say lord i'm so unique let me go get a couple of backups i know because you saw how long it took me to try to figure out what i was deciphering and smelling so I feel like I'm gonna be good with one. I don't feel like I need the shower gel. I definitely don't need the cream. I'm good. Yeah, I like it. A little powderiness is coming out. I'm liking it. I'm not loving it, but I can. This is one I can see myself using and falling in love with, like the the disco daydream. I like it. Do I see myself falling in love with it? It's smelling better and better. But it still smells familiar. This does not smell, I don't have anything that smells exactly like this. I mentioned Sea Island Shore, Sea Island Cotton, whatever they, they renamed it. It is, it just gives me those vibes, but I wouldn't say it is a dupe at all. I'm going to have to let my brother smell this. I think he would like this. And, um, you know, I'll go pick him up one when I go do a price adjustment if they still have them, because I think he would like this. It gives that clean, soapy, outdoorsy, but powdery. And the longer it sits on my skin, it's getting powdery, more powdery and muskier. And just smelling clean and good. Y'all, the more I'm smelling this, do I need one more of these? Because I don't know how long people said it been since they brought this back, but I'm liking this. So I'm going to play with this and I'm going to decide, yo, I need to get one more for myself. And it's still got a fruitiness. Like I'm, it's just, it's unique. So I do like Juniper Breeze on my skin. Let me smell the top again. Yeah, the top, who no. 
the paper, the strip, yes. Skin, loving it. You know, your skin makes every fragrance. So, Juniper Breeze, I might need to get one more. Well, it's not a need. But I might want to get one more, y'all. I'm going to play with it. And I'm going to decide. But I do like it. I'm very happy I picked it up. I still don't want the cream. I still don't want the, low, the, the shower gel. Because it's clean and soapy. And I have enough that I can come up with great combinations without getting the matching counterpart. Okay, now we're gonna talk about Plumeria. I feel like I've smelled this before and I feel like I didn't like it, but I couldn't tell you what it smells like. So Plumeria has notes of pink Plumeria, peach nectar, red apple, night blooming jasmine, and gardenia petals. Well, it smells like something that possibly I could like based off of the notes. So let's try it out, y'all. Okay, when I spell this, I immediately thought old-fashioned floral. But hold on, because the tops are not, they're not smelling that good from these tops, I've noticed. Hold on. This to me just smells like a floral balm. Now it doesn't, from the, from the top, I get that old fashioned musty quality. Like think about a chest that your grandmother had, okay? And you know, they keep the, the keepsakes in there. Cause my grandparents had like these huge chest and you open the chest, it hasn't been opened in years and you might have some clothes in there and you had your floral perfume on. So it's it, the floral perfume is mis, mixing with the, the, the musty odor of just being closed a long time. Like it's not awful, but it smells old. That's what Plumeria smells like from the top. Now from the tester strip, it's giving me like just, just floral. It's so much floral, I'm not even, it, it, when I smell this, I just, I think of peppery, floral, just floral, just too much. And this is giving me that old fashioned quality. Here, let me spray my skin, even though I do not want to smell like this. Well, I don't think I do. I'm still liking that Juniper Breeze, y'all. <laughs> That's good. Okay, hold on. Oh, and for Juniper Breeze while we're letting this air, I can see why people would say masculine. Because if I didn't put it on my skin, I would be like, Ugh, it's so outdoorsy. But then on my skin, I am loving it on my skin. So I would suggest with anything... You need, you need to try it on your skin. That's why I tend to bring fragrance mist home now and I just go, unless I smell it in store and I want to gag, then I'm like, who oh, no. But usually I'm, I'm getting things, I'm bringing them home, I'm testing them at home where it's not mixing with other things. I can try it on my skin. And to me, that is the best way to make a decision on any fragrances. Okay, here we go. No, this is smelling like old, I'm sorry. I am not trying to be offensive, okay? But I'm getting old fashioned floral. And then lace popped into my head. Like, you know, the delicate lace, but old fashioned looking? Kind of like lotion-y quality. This is just a floral bomb i mean where's the red apple peach nectar this is only 3.95 so i don't even know if i'm gonna bother to take it Ooh, i might exchange it for another juniper breeze i think that's what i'm gonna do because i'm not loving this it's just 
I just get old-fashioned floral. If you love plumeria, I'm not being offensive. I'm not trying to be offensive. All I'm trying to do is tell you what I smell because that's what I'm getting for my nose, for my skin. I'm not saying it stinks. I'm just saying it does smell outdated to me. Yeah, I don't want to smell like this. Now I'm gonna, I'm, I might try this on my skin when I have nothing else on. Now I have a, a, a like a vanilla lotion on. And my thing is, if this is not even smelling better with a vanilla base, you know, I don't think I'm gonna love this. It's And it's got that green, like floral green, old fashioned musk to me. That's what I'm picking up. Like that just floral, no sweet floral, no fr floral fruited, nothing, just floral. That's what I'm getting. And I'm not liking it. So I might say my mom likes this. If she doesn't like it, I'll see. I'll even ask my brother what he thinks. But I'm thinking for me, I'm going to take, let's, let's smell Jim Breeze one more time. Yes, I think I'll be taking this bag and exchanging it for me another Juniper Breeze, honey. Because uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it on my skin. Okay, so last one, white tea and ginger. I feel like I smelled this years ago, and I feel like I didn't like it. But I can't tell you how it smells. <laughs> so let's see. The notes are white tea leaves, sparkling yuzu, fresh bergamot, geranium petals, hint of ginger. I do like tea fragrances more now, so maybe this will be a love. Let's see, y'all. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Okay. What? When I smelled this, it made me think herbal. It made me think uh, the teas you be drinking that be nasty, but they're good for your health. That's what I think of mixed with some green floral bitterness. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> and like some citrus sourness. Oh, okay. Let's let's spray this. <laughs> Let me spray this on the strip. Okay. Okay. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. The only tea fragrance I can think of from Bath and Body Works that I liked was the eucalyptus something in that oil, that tea fragrance i can't remember other than that oh lord okay let let's spray this on i'm gonna spray this on skin. okay i do remember this after i smelled this and i was like excuse me I was, that's how i was i remember this now i remember going yuck so let me see how it is on my skin Okay, it's better on my skin. It's better on my skin. It still made me think herbal tea, but it's a little sweeter, probably with my vanilla, because I'm wearing the EOS uh, Cashmere Vanilla Lotion Body Cream today. Okay, so on my skin, it's giving me sweet, sweeter. Think it's giving me ginger spicy, tea with sugar that's warm with some citrus thrown in there like on my skin it's interesting i still don't feel like i would ever would i reach for this i mean i have a perfume 
from Elizabeth Arden. It's what is it called? White tea and ginger lily or something. This could go with it. Okay, on my skin is something I could wear and layer it correctly, I could enjoy. Do I want the shower gel? No, the cream, no. And I'm also thinking, do, I'm gonna, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Ooh. Okay, the plumeria is smelling a little bit better. It's got, now it's turning into like more of a powdery floral. Okay, see another thing you have to let things dry down. This is why this is one of the reasons why with first impressions I'm like because sometimes with first impressions like you gotta do two videos. And who who usually wants to watch two videos on the same fragrances? Okay. I might be keeping them all, y'all, and have to go buy this because okay. On the dry, very dry down of Plumeria, I'm getting a powdery floral that also with like a soapy cleanliness to it that I'm, I'm enjoying. Like I got a whiff of and I went, oh, that's pleasant. Still, I don't feel like I need a backup of it. Um, let's smell white tea and ginger again. Okay. This is what I would classify as very layer layering combo specific. If I didn't have that ginger lily tea from Elizabeth Arden, and it's another one, white tea, orange something, I feel like this would go quite well with those fragrances. If I didn't have those, then this one for sure would be going and I would be trading in to get another one of these because this is not a fragrance mist I would want to wear on its own. It's not a fragrance mist I can think that's easy for me to layer based on what I have in my collection. Because if I didn't have those two perfumes, I would be keeping this. But since I do have those perfumes, those tea perfumes, a little spicy, because this is turning into a spicy, sweet, very tea scent. Still herbal, but I can sweeten it up. I can do different things and I know it will go with that, those two perfumes. So I'm going to keep it for that. Let's smell Plumeria one more time. Yeah, you know what this Plumeria is making me think of? The Caress, uh, is it Peach Blossom? It's the Caress in the orange box, that soap. That's what this Plumeria is making me think of. And... I'm wondering, am I going to like it so much that, because I'm liking it more and more as it settles on my skin, do I want to get another one of these? Because, no, I think I'm one. Because when I get up close, it's like when I get a whiff of it in the air, I like it. It makes me think of that caress so powdery, cleanliness, floral. Um, but I don't feel like I'm going to need another one. The Juniper Breeze, I'm getting another one. White tea and ginger. I'm just gonna keep it for that. Let's smell Disco Daydream again. I like, I'm really liking it, but it is reminding me of something. If y'all can figure out what Disco Daydream, cause it's reminding me of something from Bath and Body Works. And it's not something that's a long, long time ago. It's recent. It's smelling really good. But what is it? <sighs> That's going to drive me crazy. So y'all, I am happy with everything. I'm glad everything turned into a like to where I could keep it and enjoy it, get another one. So out of this, these three collections that they brought back, let's rank them. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me line them up. And I hate to do the repackaged ones, but I think it's fair because everybody doesn't have them. So this is going to be my true thoughts on them. Oh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. 
Okay, coming in at number 10, it's got, it, <laughs> Is going to be white tea and ginger because it like i said this would be the one the show for show that if i didn't have the perfumes that i mentioned it'd be going back it'd be going back um because it's just not my type of fragrance that i want to smell like oh. yeah this is this is has to be i have something to layer with because i just don't want to smell like it i would never want to wear this on its own and just smell like this so number 10 is white tea and ginger coming in at number nine it's got to be plumeria because i'm not sure of it i'm gonna keep it because it's smelling clean and like caress soap to me the the one in the orange box. I wish I could remember the name of it. The shower gel. I can't remember the name of it either, y'all. But that's what it's smelling like to me. So I am liking it. But I don't know. I'm going to play with it some more. Because I can't be like, I just, woo, it's so, 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 so good. Because what if I don't get that again? Because, you know, your nose can play with you, play games with you when you smell so much stuff at one time, too. So this is number nine, Plumeria. Number eight is going to be, I'm going to say number eight is going to be whipped coconut milkshake because I like it, but I know me, and this is the type of fragrance mist usually I get tired of. I enjoy it, but I get tired of, like the squirrel one, the whipped, the white chocolate coconut I think that's what it was called. I got tired of it, even though I enjoyed it. That's what this gives me, makes me think of. Like, I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm going to get tired of it. So, this is going to be number eight. Number seven is going to be Fruity Sherbet Scoop. This is going to be number seven because while it's pretty and fruity and fun and candy deliciousness, I feel like we've gotten a few of few fragrance smiths from Bath and Body Works, which I mentioned earlier in the review, that, you know, it gives me the vibes of. So this is going to be number seven. Number six is going to be num. I'm torn between these two. Which one do I want to be in my top five? Hold on, y'all. Number six is going to be Rainbow Waves. I really enjoy it. It's fruity. It's aquatic. It's a little musky. It's easy to wear. It's perfect for the summer. Um, so it's a good one, especially for this time of year. So this is going to be number six. Top five. Coming in at number five is going to be Golden Sunflower. Now, I was torn between Golden Sunflower and Rainbow Waves for number six, but I went with Golden Sunflower because this is so womanly, pretty, and feminine, and perfumey that I don't know what my problem is that I just don't wear it all the time. It's beautiful. So that's why it beat out Rainbow Waves, which is, to me, more casual, everyday, summertime, fragrance smiths so golden sunflower is number five coming in at number four is going to be i'm gonna say it's gonna be disco daydream because hold on let me move this out of the way disco daydream because it smells really good but it smells so familiar and the more i smell it the more i like it even though it's reminding me of something fairly recent maybe i'm just picking up notes that is reminding me of, of something but it does smell good but i'm not gonna i put it at number four until it can make it to my top five because the more i smell it the more i like it but it does remind me of something i just can't think of what from bath and body works it exactly reminds me of so number four is disco daydream coming in at number oh lord Hold on. Coming in at number three.
Okay, number three is going to have to be Juniper Breeze. At first, I was like, because it took me so by surprise how much I like it, should it be number one? But then I had to look at the other two, and I said, does it trump these? And it doesn't. So, Juniper Breeze is going to be number three for me. Yeah, I like it, y'all. And number two is going to be Pink Watermelon Blast. It's just a fun, fruity, juicy candy watermelon scent that if you love watermelon fragrances you can't go wrong with it love it which is gonna this is groovy watermelon in the groovy collection by the way and coming in at number one is it, it's got to be cotton candy clouds because i've gone through a whole set of boardwalk taffy or two sets i can't remember and i'm getting ready and every time i use it i want more of it I don't get tired of it. So that's why I cannot have something beat it because I'm the type, I get tired of things easily. That's why I can go through and, and love and adore a perfume and a fragrance mist and then it'll take me years and years and years to want it again. And then it's those select few type of perfumes and fragrance mists, aka Twinkling Nights. I've used up quite a bit of twinkling nights I, I haven't gotten tired of it this is on that level so it's number one cotton candy clouds all right you all if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of the new cinema and you will sell collections that they released i would love to know please share this video with everybody y'all because we trying to get to 10k soon before the end of june okay and please don't forget to turn on your notification bells so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.